Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this week I've decided to just use a load of leftover stickers. I wasn't really too sure what kit to use or how to plan this week and I did see a lot of comments on Facebook and Instagram saying that they're in the same boat. I think we all are this week and probably for the next few weeks everyone's got lots of appointments that have been cancelled or plans that have changed or been cancelled so it's all just a mixed match of whatever you want. <laughs> I believe all of the full boxes that I do end up using were from the Plump Planner. They weren't all from the same kit or anything. I actually think a couple were. Anyway, they're all from the Plump Planner. Um, so first off, up at the top, I used a deco sticker and of the coffee and I used a sticker from one of the Happy Planner books, which just says, you got this because it was the first day of homeschooling. And then underneath there, I've just put a half box down and I'm going to be writing a daily lesson plan rather than plan out the entire week and it all falls apart. For me, it's probably easier if I just do like a daily lesson plan because I have three children on three different subjects. You know, it's all a bit chaotic. I'm also extending my days right down to the bottom of the page. I'll probably do that next week as well. It just gives me an extra bit of room in case I do want to list down the subjects and write a little bit more other than just a daily lesson plan. So we are on Tuesday, obviously I'm doing my voiceover. I want to upload this plan with me. So I used one of my social puppets with the YouTube symbol. And then I'm going to be phoning my Nan. So I used one of my phone puppets, which will be popping up on every single day. Because like I said last week, I'm phoning my Nan and my aunt. Uh, underneath there, I put a full box to block off some time. And then my half box where I just wrote daily lesson plan. And I used one of my peekaboo puppets up at the top. And I'll probably be writing my lesson plans in the morning. It's just I haven't put it right at the top of each day. Um, I have like an hour and a half in the morning before I get my children up. I'm still getting my children up at a decent time. So we're kind of still on a schedule. And um, yeah, so I'll just write it in the morning when I'm having my cup of tea before I get my children up. And then underneath there, I put a be productive on top of two strips of washi, which I can't remember where I just got them from. Harriet Wright Designs, was it? No, it's strawberry lime designs. I had to rewind and go back. Um, the Be Productive text is from another Happy Planner book. And then for Wednesday, I started off with a full box up at the top. I used a deco sticker of lots of pencils with another peekaboo puppet as I'm going to get my children to write a letter to my nan and my aunt. And then underneath there, again, I'm putting my daily lesson plan on a half box. And I just finished up the rest of the half boxes with writing daily lesson plan. As like I say, I'm gonna be doing it every single day. I hope all of you guys who are having to homeschool are getting on okay. I've seen a lot of people asking, does anyone have a teacher planner or should I buy a teacher planner? So I'd be interested to see what other people are doing or how other people are filling out their planner for homeschooling. And then underneath here, I've just put down a checklist. I have literally got two orders in this week, so I'm doing them tomorrow. I am half thinking about maybe putting a printable section in my shop because obviously a lot of people are worried to order online, as in stickers, Etsy shop kind of thing. Um, so I'm wondering if I put a printable section online, if any of you guys would like to do it that way. So at least you've still got some kind of stickers to use or something to print off and you can use it as many times as you like. I don't know, I haven't quite decided, but let me know down below if you'd like to see a printable section pop up in the shop. Because in all honesty, I don't even know how long post offices are going to be remaining open. So for Thursday, I obviously started with my daily lesson plan. I put a full box down and I'm going to be doing some baking with the children, calling my nan, doing housework, and I will need to write some kind of shopping list about what it is that we are desperately in need for and then I can go out maybe either the Thursday night or the Friday morning. So I did take some time off of work just to try and figure out what the hell I was going to be doing this week. Um, I was going to be going into work as usual on Friday um, but now with what the Prime Minister said last night we're not going to be going into work so I'm definitely not going in on Friday whether that will change next week or not. I don't know, but I do need to go and drop some shopping off for my nan and drop it into her. Like she's got like a little porch, which is where I'll be putting it. So I'll need to go food shopping regardless. And then um, obviously with the kids doing lots of things, 
and homework and schoolwork, they need to tidy their desks. <laughs> Still keeping tidy and organised as much as I can. And then for something to look forward to on Friday, it's going to be pizza night. Whether I can buy pizzas, I'm not sure, or we'll be making our own. And then for Saturday, the Treat Yourself is from a Happy Planner book. And we're just going to be having a chill out morning. So I put a little peekaboo pop it down. I put a pair of glasses, which was a deco sticker. I can't remember which sheet that was from. And um, that's just to catch up on my normal paperwork, like home paperwork. And then I'll be treating myself to playing some Sims and just, you know, having a casual day, getting some laundry done. I'm pretty sure I'm near enough up to date with my laundry already and cutting the grass. So at least we can go out into the garden. For Sunday, I've put a full box up at the top. I put a notes section down and then another checklist. And then on Sunday, I'm going to go back through kind of all of my lesson plans and figuring out what worked and what didn't work, what to change, um, any new skills that I want to include. So in my household, we're doing schoolwork kind of in the morning up until like say one or two. And then in the afternoon, we are going to be doing some home life skills. So sewing, doing the vegetable patch, learning how to do laundry properly, ironing, all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I just want to go through the skills that I want to do next week. And then down at the bottom there, I'm just putting a little family day time. So we're just going to do something together, whether it's board games, going out for a short walk, that kind of thing, just something all together. Go back to Sunday and add in that the clocks go forward because I'd forgotten. <laughs> for the sidebar, like I said, I have three main goals for the week, which is schoolwork, home skills, and making sure the children get some kind of fresh air. So I took this Happy Planner book, I believe it's the Disconnect or Unplug, I can't remember what it's called. Um, and I, I'm just using one of the giant stickers, which I'm using in my sidebar. And I just popped some little poppets on there because why not? <laughs> And then right at the bottom, I'm just putting another half box down and oh, here I was looking for a sticker, but I end up putting a half box down. And I also used one of the deco stickers, which has got a little alarm clock on it and just put down no school. So, you know, when I'm flicking back in four years time, I'll know that there was no school. <laughs> I don't know. In all honesty, I had nothing to put there and um, just wanted to put something there. So I'm just writing the dates along the top and obviously that's pretty much it for this week's spread. Um, it's a bit of a I don't know what's happening and let's just write random stuff down. But hopefully by next week I will have some kind of plan on how to fill out my planner properly. Whether I do use it like a teacher planner or yeah I'm not sure yet but I've got five days to figure this out. <laughs> But that was it for this week's spread. I hope wherever you are, you are keeping safe and everyone else in your family is safe. Hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up and I will speak to you all next time. To become a part of our Puppet family, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified for my uploads, then just hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.